Hi, this is Christine. Good morning. It's um, November 15, 2014. Again, it's in the morning. And I want to share some changes that I've been feeling. Today's the 15th. Um, I'd have to say it started around November 11. That was the first day that I put my other video up where I was um, going through grieving and mourning because I was missing, you know, like f um, feeling the loss of the life I could have had had religion not intervened. And I'm only thinking that because, you know, having learned that it's actually the Dark Lord. <laughs> And here I thought I was serving God, and actually, it is because there's only one God. It's just He has a backside and a front side. And when you're under the the Prince or the Dark Lord, it's it's God's backside. It's the dark side. I feel like these last three days, two three days. I've been going through, um, you know, all of my feelings and everything. And yesterday, <clears throat> I started feeling like I was coming out of the woods, like everything was lifting. And today, um, I feel like I'm getting more understanding. I was starting to get understanding yesterday, but I feel like I'm getting more understanding today. Um, when you come out of the darkness and step into the light, your vibrations change. And by vibrations, I mean like your mindset. You start seeing clearly or better. And when you put out those positive vibrations, it affects other people around you. What I'm noticing is my dad, and first of all I'm going to say November 11 was also Veterans Day, which is the day to remember war, hero, war heroes or warriors, but for me it felt like this warrior got set free on that day. And, you know, that's when I came into the realization of everything that I had sort of lost. Um, <laughs> yeah, now I've got nothing to go back to. You know, at the first state. I won't go into that. I've already done a video on it. <clears throat> My dad, who is usually very negative, um, I'll go over to his house to help him, you know, with raking the leaves or mowing the grass or whatever he needs help with. And usually within five minutes, He's complaining or nagging about something. It's like nothing comes out of him except blackness and darkness. He just doesn't have anything good to say about anything or anyone. And I remember, you know, I would go over to his house. I didn't want the negativity. That's that's what I grew up with, and that's part of what shot me in the direction of trying to find God. Because I was looking for a man's love. I just, I always felt like, I never really felt my dad loved me. I knew my mom did, but I never really felt my dad loved me. And guys, they just wanted sex off of me. So, you know, and I just wanted somebody to love me. So that's kind of what shot me in the direction of um, God, because he was... A man and he loved me so naturally I would go that direction 
But now that I've so-called lost everything because I gave it up in order to serve God, who was really ended up being the Dark Lord instead, and of course I do feel like the most biggest gullible fool right now. Sometimes when a person's so desperate, they'll they'll take anything, even abuse, because at least it's some kind of attention. And that's what I was doing. I'd go over to my dad and listen to him tell me about what a worthless piece of crap I was. But at least it was something. <clears throat> but since November 11 this year, just a few days ago, Veterans Day, where I feel like this warrior has been released. Um, I feel like it, it changed my vibrations it, and it set me free. In the process of doing that, I think it's released my dad too. Because we're all connected to the energy source, which is God the Father. And my dad last few days when he calls me he calls me honey sweetheart he talks nice to me I don't know what's going on I mean it's like he's alien he's he's just got more of a spring in his step he's more positive the darkness the, the negativity seems to have lifted off of him I've got a theory or a thought about what happened, but I don't know if I have any fact behind it, but I'll just share what I think happened. You know how the Lord needed his elect, he needs his firstborn. They had to break the matrix in order for heaven to be opened and now everybody can come in. So what what God showed me is that we did have to go through what we went through. Um, with the sacrifice and everything. And going through the Dark Lord Valley of the Shadow of Death experiences that we all went through. We had to go through it because we were going to go through the whirlwind back up to heaven. And that's the filter. And you can't take anything with you. When you go through the filter, all the stuff, the debris stays in the filter and all that comes through is just water that gets cleaned. So what he showed me is I had to give all of that stuff up in order to go through the filter. So that made me feel like everything I've done for him wasn't in vain after all, perhaps. Because that's what I was feeling, like I had just done all this in vain. Um, but no, he showed me that I had to do this. So, uh, you know, apparently my steps really were ordained by him, even though right now in hindsight I'm looking back and I'm wondering how and where I got led. Um, when I was a little girl, because my dad had like an alcoholic's temper only he didn't need alcohol to set him off and you just never knew what he was going to be like I mean he'd be one way and then an hour or two later he'd be flying off the handle and then he'd come back and he'd be all nice again and I would just look at him like who the heck are you you know it was like Jekyll and Hyde so um yeah I never uh really connected with him my mother was the grounded one and it's funny that my dad's an air sign which is spirit man air and my mom is an earth sign um you know horoscope wise so she was the grounded one I'm water and my sister is another air sign that's why my dad and my sister get along so well but yeah um but I'm realizing it you know Adam is spirit and my dad's air, which is spirit. And Eve was flesh, which is made of the earth, mother earth. And my mother was an earth sign. I mean, it's just so weird how this family I got put into when I was born. Um, and how everything played out. But yeah, I, I related more to my mom. Because she was grounded and rooted, you know. I mean, 
I could count on her. She was the same person every day. She she did not have these crazy, wild mood swings like my dad did. My mom, you know, when she made a promise, she she kept it and she did her best to fulfill her promises. You know, um, she never was really, really high or really, really low. She was just even keeled every day. I could always count on her. I could always depend on her. She was my best friend. She still is, even though she died two years ago. But when I was a young girl, I remember walking on the street, you know, on our block. And there weren't many cars, so it didn't matter if you walked on the street, because we didn't have many cars going. And if we did, the speed limit was 25 miles an hour, and nobody was going to really hit you. And I went for a walk around the block probably to clear my head because my dad was throwing some kind of fit in the house and I didn't want to have to sit there and listen to it and usually it was he'd be picking fights with my mom simply because he wasn't content to just be happy and let things run their course naturally he had to do something to have some kind of fighting going on in the house and my mother would always say you know she didn't want to fight in front of the children so she would try to keep the peace, and he would try to do everything he could to upset the peace. So I, I left the house, and I just, I was probably elementary school, maybe junior high at the latest. And I decided I was going to go for a walk around the block just to get some air and fresh air and not have to listen to him. And I remember thinking to myself how crazy he was. And that I did not want to have children because I did not want to continue his bloodline. And tell me that that's not crazy for me to say that. But I just, I had decided in my heart that it stops with me. So, you know, that might also partly be why I didn't have children when I was older. I mean, I remember thinking to myself when I was like 26 years old that if I ever got pregnant, I was going to kill myself because I did not want to have a child. I mean, that's that's how against pregnancy and children I was because I had seen the hell that he put us through and I did not want to bring a child into that kind of a world. I was messed up myself, you know. I was trying to find love with a man, but all I was finding is guys who wanted to just screw you and leave you. And I didn't fall for it, so I would just take off, you know. But because of that, I ended up learning how to run from guys all the time. And I never really let anyone get close to me. It's a wonder that I even got married. Um, he was actually a good guy. He still is a good guy. Yeah, I remember walking and saying to myself that I wasn't going to continue this line of his, this family line of his. And um, I also had a feeling back then that I was going to be the redeemer of my family. I don't know why I was thinking this at such a young age, elementary, junior high age. But I remember it was a clear day, it was like a summer day, spring summer day, and I was um, just walking, and I, and I was thinking that to myself, that I would be the one to redeem my family of like all the curses or whatever else, you know, because it wasn't just my parents and my grandparents, it was everybody before me, you know, all my ancestors before me, all the way back to Adam. And who knows what they did in like the 500s or 600s. Who knows if anybody got involved in witchcraft or what happened. You know, I don't know what happened. But whatever it was, my dad was in blackness. You know, and his, his whole family it had just been passed down to generations. And I decided in my heart it was going to stop with me. I wasn't going to pass that darkness on to another generation. But instead, I would redeem it. And I feel like November 11 of this year, just a few days ago, that I finally came out of the darkness. I'm, 
I mean to the light. And I think that might be why my dad has changed. Because I remember when I was in Christianity, I would pray to God and I would ask him to forgive my family and my ancestors of everything that they've ever done in their life. A part of me feels like I have, like I've redeemed my, our family. And, you know, with heaven being open now, because the firstborn elect of, of, you know, have broken the matrix and heaven's gates are wide open, now people can go in. A part of me feels like all my ancestors are just walking in including my mom. I don't know if they were in a holding tank. I don't know where they were. I, mean, I know that, you know, the spirit, God's breath goes back to him who gave it. And then, you know, the body obviously goes back to the earth and decomposes. I mean, everybody knows that, you know, when, that when you get buried, everything goes, it decomposes. So I know their spirit, their breath of life went back to God who gave it. But a part of me feels like the job is done, that my family has been redeemed. I had to go through 20 years of hell in darkness under the dark shadow, Lord, 21 years to be exact, December 3rd was my so-called born again date. I had to go through 21 years of hell, probably, to suffer and to go through all the darkness of my family, my prior generations. And if God brought me through, then my family is free. All my ancestors are free. And if that's what happened, and if that's why my dad has changed these last few days since November 11, these last three or four days, because he has. He's not speaking negative. He's not mean and nasty. He's calling me sweetheart and honey. He's just, he's acting like a normal man who doesn't have demons in him. Like the darkness is out of him. And if it's so, then it's because God has pulled me through. And in pulling me through, and all of us being connected on the same energy grid, my family has pulled through. And I told the Lord, if that's really what happened, Father, then it's worth it. I'm happy that I gave everything up in order that they might go through. Heaven's open. I, my dad's been set free from his darkness is what it feels like. And that means the rest of my family is free too. Everybody who's passed on before me that's what it feels like I don't have any proof or evidence but this is just what's been coming to me the last two days because I've been thinking on everything that's happened to me in my last you know 21 years everything I gave up and stuff but if that's if that's really what happened then yeah I'm thankful and I'm glad that I did it Hope everyone has a great weekend, and um, we'll talk to you later. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.